In this experiment, we're looking at oxidation reactions. The aim of the experiment is to use three different oxidising agents to distinguish between two different compounds. One is an aldehyde and one is a ketone. So we've got two different compounds. Compound X and compound Y. And we're going to use three different oxidising oxidizing agents. The first one is potassium dichromate and it will be acidified with sulfuric acid. Our second one is some felling solution and the third one is Tollens reagent. So we're going to try each one in turn and see if compound X and compound Y oxidize. So first of all, I'm going to put some potassium dichromate into our test tube one. test tube tube. So we've got about two mils in each. I'm then going to acidify the dichromate with the sulfuric acid. So we've got our two chest tubes, X and Y, with the dichromate and the sulfuric acid. I'm then going to put about five drops of each of the compounds into each test tube. So compound X. And compound Y. So five drops into each one. I'm going to give it a little mix. And then these are going to go into the water bath. And we'll check them in a couple of minutes. So our next oxidizing agent is something called felling solution. So I'm going to pop about two mils into each test tube. And then again, we're going to put roughly five drops of each compound into each test tube. Being careful to use separate pipettes so there's no cross contamination. And again, we will mix each test tube and pop these into the water bath. Our next oxidizing agent is Tollens reagent. So again, we're going to put a couple of mils into each test tube. and then five drops of each compound. And once again, we'll give these a little mix and pop them into our water bath. So after a couple of minutes, we're going to have a look and see 
if we have any colour changes in our test tubes. So here when we look at our results, so for the first solution we use the acidified potassium dichromate. We can see in test, test tube Y, compound Y, we've got no colour change, it stayed the orange colour and in X we've got a greeny brown colour. So this one has oxidised. The next one with the Fellings reagent, in Y it's the same colour, so no colour change there, but in Compound X it's got a much paler blue colour, so that one again has oxidised. For the Tollins reagent we can see Y, no colour change stayed the same and in X we've got like a almost like a silver mirror in our test tube there so that one has oxidized